Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Daniela Baptista and today's video is going to be very important because September is National Preparedness Month, which means that we want to bring awareness on people on how to be ready and prepare in case of a natural disaster or an emergency. So with that said, today we're gonna to be building an emergency bag. I have a basic list of items that we need to grab and we came to a Salvation Army 3 store to see what we can find. So come with me and let's do this. All right guys, we are back and we are gonna start building our emergency bag. Um, keep in mind that most of these things I found in the Salvation Army 3 store, other things I already had at my house. So let's just start. Um, the first things would be water and food. These are items that you always are gonna need in your emergency bag. Uh, then we're gonna add a flashlight and make sure it works. Um, then we're gonna be adding a first aid kit um, and with that I would recommend maybe some hand sanitizer I found some antibacterial hand wipes really important then we want to make sure that we have our documents and I would maybe you don't have the time to find your documents in an emergency so I recommend to make photocopies on, of your documents and to add them in a ziplock so in case of water nothing happens to them obviously i couldn't find a, a ziplock in my house but that's my recommendation for you guys and actually i would add in the ziplock a portable charger with my charger in case of water as well you know so let's add that i also found a rain jacket um you don't want your clothes to get wet so I recommend having a rain jacket. And we also have a blanket in case it's cold at night. Um, this one is, is actually brand new and I found it in the Salvation Army strip store. It was a great found. Okay, last but not least, in addition of having your basic survival supplies, an emergency kit should have items to meet your individual needs. So for example, let's say you have a pet so you, need, should, you should be adding food for them. Or let's say you are in essential medication, you should be adding your medication to the bag as well. And the things are really important to have them aside and ready because you never know what can happen and you don't never know how much time you're gonna be able to have to grab the things. So last thing for our bag, a knife, uh, ropes, duct tape, and a lighter so all this we're gonna add it to our back with this bag we are ready to go in case of any emergency thank you so much for watching i hope this information was useful for you all in the case of any emergencies i'll see you in the next video